actually start from the very beginning. So how did uh, Dead Poets Society get the start? I believe 2013, was it in Boston? Like how did it all got started? Yeah, 2013 in Boston. Uh, basically, uh, I was um, I was friends with with the guitarist's roommate, and they and uh, they had been kind of rotating through band members for like for like a year or so. And um, I I thought that they were so bad that I um, actually they they went through a drummer who was one of my best friends, and I convinced him to leave the band because I thought they were so bad. And, uh, and lo and behold, they have all these songs Then they heard me sing, <clears throat> they asked me to sing on them. And kind of reluctantly, I agreed because it was just too socially awkward to say no at the time. And uh, did it and it was awesome. And I ended up, I, I ended up like six months after telling this guy to leave the band, joining the band. And uh, we wrote a song together that we ended up releasing. It was the first song we ever wrote together. And then after that, I was pretty sold on it. I was like, oh, wait, there is actually something here when we write together. And uh, that's kind of how we got our start. Yeah, so uh, uh, what happened in all those years, uh, years uh, after? I mean, like, uh, basically the debut album is coming out now. So what took you, so, took you guys so long? Um, well, we've released a lot of stuff in between then and now. Um, we K we had two EPs and we've had like a dozen singles. So it's like over the years, there's been consistent music constantly coming out, but the strategy wasn't to make an album because we just wanted to make music and get it out there as fast as possible. And because if we started eight years ago and started working on a debut album and didn't release until five years ago, well, then the starting line would have been five years ago. So really we started five years ago. So when we started doing this, we were like, we just need to get music out there. It doesn't need to be in any sort of like concept or fashion. Let's just put it out there and make sure that people know we're on the map. And so that's why it took us so long to get around to an album because it wasn't until like two years ago that we were, Jack started bringing up the idea of, doing something full length and um, I think everybody was a little hesitant but eventually we all just decided like okay well if we can write fast enough and uh, we can make it happen we'll do it because albums take time they take a lot of time. Do you feel like there was something missing before or did you maybe find something new new as musicians to make the full length happen? You have to think big picture a little bit more I think. Uh, you know, when, when you're writing, you, uh, you just, you, you do the song and whatever the song ends up being, it ends up being. And what you start to do is when you're writing a full length, it's like, you might have songs that you like, but they don't necessarily fit together, you know? And, uh, so it takes more songs than what are going to go on the album to make it on the album. And, uh, just because you know it's it, i if it's a good song it's a good song and sometimes it just might not fit anywhere and you'll have another spot for it yeah you said uh the thing about the uh, songs fitting onto the album so what are these uh, 16 songs about uh these 16 songs i mean they range from a lot of things but i think it's all very personal i mean they're they're about our life and our experiences and the way that we think and the way that we feel about our own personal journey and there you i i write from a very personal place because i said this pretty horribly in the album in one of the album tracks but uh the human experience is something that is both uh, completely unique and like one of the most unique things on earth, but also not unique at all. It could not be any more generic. And 
And what I mean by that is there's this, is that, that dichotomy is when you're experiencing something, it is very real and it feels 100% unique because it is, because there is not a single person on earth going through exactly what your consciousness is going through at that moment, because you're the only one in your own head. And that's why when you experience hardships and, and pain and but happiness and all that kind of stuff, it, 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 it is you. That is you right there. So that is unique and that is personal. But when you step back and you look at humanity as kind of an organism and you look at all the different human experiences, you start to realize that they're all pretty similar. Everybody kind of goes through the same shit. Everybody's had their first crush. Everybody's had their first kiss. Everybody's had loss. Everybody's had happiness. And, and when you write from a personal place and something that is unique to you, that same logic kind of applies to that songwriting where that song step back and you release it, you step back from the song and other people go, holy fuck. I did that. I went through that same exact thing. And it feels very personal to them because it describes what happened to them. And that's how you make a connection that way. And uh, so that's what this album is kind of about is that just writing from a personal spot, not things that are just going on in my life and in our lives and uh people that connect with it will connect with it yeah it seems that uh, this time we are living is like very likely to amplify that kind of thinking that you mentioned that everybody is like experience is unique and strong but then again like uh everybody goes through the same stuff so uh has this time uh affected the album at all or how much or which ways uh you know to be completely honest a yes and no i mean like it's it we were pretty much done with the record by the time corona hit so so it was all mastering and getting it ready to you know distribute and marketing it so it, it didn't really affect us too much i think that now that the album's out the touring would be nice it would be very nice, both for my mental sanity and for the uh, success of the album. Uh, so I think in that way, it's kind of affecting us. But we're still staying positive about it. Yeah, how are you dealing with the fact, of course, you are not newbies, but it is the debut album. So it's uh, kind of crazy to release an album at this time because nobody knows what's going to happen. Like. Maybe the second album comes out in a COVID time too, who knows? But so how are you kind of uh, reconciling this time and uh, dealing with it? Uh, it's, I don't know. I don't know if I am dealing with it. <laughs> it's, just, it's been, you know, it's been kind of a, I've had a very interesting past month. And um, a lot of COVID started to catch up to me around the fall and well just yeah the the issues that it brought and it's just been it's been a very interesting time in my life and one that i think will produce a lot of art um but uh it hasn't been a it hasn't been a pleasant experience but i think it's been a necessary one was it a difficult decision to put the album out now or did you even consider maybe postponing the release um we considered postponing it but people had already been waiting for it for so long and we figured there's no way we're not going to be touring at some point in 2021 so let's just do it let's just fuck it let's just go for it and so we did and and uh and there's no there's no changing it now i don't regret it i i think when we released the album is when we were supposed to release the album yeah you played the album release streaming geek already yeah i saw it and uh well what kind of situation is that for artists uh, like is it difficult you know to just you know perform to a couple people and then the cameras or how what was your tactic on that gig um that doing live streams is so fucking weird dude it's 
it's like it's like you're rehearsing um uh, like you're you're rehearsing with security cameras it's so bizarre it's like you you there's no energy to feed off of which is so massive for a show because it's it, when you're at a show it's the crowd feeding off of you and you're feeding off of them and when you're completely manufacturing it there's it's it's a it's just a strange it's just a strange vibe and when when touring starts back up i hope we never have to do another live stream again but for in the meantime it's good content for like our fans and stuff and it keeps us connected to them so that's why we do it yeah i don't think anybody has like perfected that yet so would you do more of them If we got to, <laughs> if we have to, yeah, I think that's my answer right there. <laughs> yeah, you mentioned the energy that you can't kind of, kind of feed off the audience's energy, but the band has its own energy though. So where does that energy come from? The band has its own energy. Yeah, think? absolutely. Uh. That energy, I think, just comes from the fact that we were able to figure out what music, what genre and what type of music moves all of us when we play it. I think that that energy just kind of comes out. There's no controlling that. And I think that's why I joined the band in the first place is that I didn't play rock music before I joined the band. I didn't do any of that. And but when I did, uh, it moved me. And and when I played live, it was it engaged me. And so I think that's where that energy comes from. It's just, we're also engaged in what we're doing. Okay. And how was the recording of this album? How did you kind of transfer that energy to the full length? Um, it's just a matter of following feeling constantly. I mean, that's, that's what, that's what songwriting is, 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 finding a, a thought and a feeling a feeling that brings a thought and boiling that feeling down to its essence and putting it in a form that is tangible and uh you're constantly just chasing a feeling and you get enough of those feelings together that really feel true and may and move you uh then you have a song and you put that out and it's all about following that feeling. Okay, uh, you said that uh, this album was basically done already when the COVID time start started, and uh, this is like a uh, can also be a creative time for artists. So, uh, like, how much uh, material have you like <laughs> done in this time? Is the second album already in the making? I think we have we have a bunch of half ideas right now, and uh, I actually before I hopped on this interview with you, we were just I was just on a phone call with everybody, and we were talking about how we want to have the second album completely written by the end of the summer, and uh, I think we can do it, and uh, I mean COVID for sure has given us enough fucking free time, so uh, yeah. Okay, well, you know, there's no blueprint to this shit at the moment. So, how are how are you guys like planning out things or like planning things for the future for the band? Um, well, as you said, there's no blueprint, so we're just we're just basically working with the uh, the label, and they're they've got a strategy, and we contribute to that strategy. We talk about things and see what we can get done see what we can do and uh yeah that's it that's that's all you do you just continue to make shit up and see what sticks that's what everybody's doing right absolutely absolutely and so what's the very next thing that's like absolutely gonna happen for you guys uh very next thing start on this album we got a lot of we got a lot of like content that we're doing for the mute for the album that we're that we're getting started on uh but uh i think i think a, i think something in the forefront of our minds is is getting the next album written 
see if we can even release it by next year, maybe. I don't know. I'm just spitballing. 